Hello everyone, here we are back in Skyrim. I hope you're all having a great day. I am doing fairly well, though I do not have a clue what we were uh, working on before. We are coming out of the Blue Palace, so it must have been something. Miscellaneous. Take Turg's Warhorn to the da, 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 whatever. Nothing important by the looks of it. I think for today, we are going to do the Horn of Jurgen Windcaller. Yeah, I think it's time that we progress along the main storyline. I have added some stuff since we were last gone. I don't know if it really makes a difference, like, at all. But I added uh, the high resolution texture pack free DLC thing. Nothing too big. Um, I also added Midas Magic, though that's probably something that we either won't get into on this character, or at least not very soon. Um, for one, it's kind of complicated, and for two, this guy isn't a mage. Mostly, this guy isn't a mage. That That's the biggest issue here. Uh, and so, no real point in us decking him out with Midas Magic stuff if he can't really use it you know but that being said with our dragon souls perk trader thing even when we're maxed out level and all that we can still become anything we want because as long as we're killing dragons we can keep getting skill points which is cool it's very very cool indeed yeah oh <sighs> Seems like loading screens are taking a lot longer recently. It's, it's probably all the, um, good you know, mods and stuff they have installed. Frame rate still seems pretty decent. I can't really see a difference in the textures too much. Maybe it's like when we get up close to stuff. Definitely not. Um, I don't know. Maybe you can really see a difference when you have the, the textures turned like all the way up or something. Alright, let me see here. Where are we trying to go to? We're trying to go to right there. Well, that's not bad. Here, we'll take a little road trip on down that way, because road trips are more fun, let's face it. Um, yeah. Yeah, so, let me see here. Today is Sunday, as far as you guys are concerned. So I've only been back for, like, two or three days. As far as the channel goes, I batch recorded like the entire week today. So things are a little screwbally for me. I've talked about stuff that you guys don't really know about yet and won't know about for quite some time. Um, but yeah, pretty much I've, I've repeated myself a lot throughout various videos because I don't really have anything new to say. And so eventually I'm going to run out and I'm starting to run out now. Um, not much I can really do about it, but, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of how life goes when you batch record. Hopefully here pretty soon the batch recording won't be as bad, which will be kind of good, although I have a fairly uneventful life, so I still won't have too much to talk about. Um, so yeah, not much is going to change, I guess, for you guys. Um, I'm detected. Something is detecting me. What is detecting me? You're there. Is there someone in this camp? No? Hmm, it's probably a slaughterfish detecting me. Those guys have the eyes of a hawk. And and the body of, of, of a fish. And the soul of a daedra. Yeah, that's what a slaughterfish is. Hmm. But yeah, so we're going to go, and I, I think that we're going to uh, just kind of continue down the main storyline until it becomes super difficult. And then, at that point, is when we will uh, start doing the side quests again. Did he not die? I guess not. Though I can't really say where he ran to due to the action shot. 
That's one of the bad things about the action shots. Like when they don't work properly, like there, where the the thing should have died. Ah, there he is. But he didn't. Um, that's that's when the action shot really really sucks. Let's just whoosh, up the butthole. Okay, see there, we got the sneak attack, and so he died. I think that he saw me right as I hit him, and so he didn't get the sneak damage. And that's why that one didn't die. But yeah, so I think I'm going to come up here. Let's gather some regions, or some ingredients, rather. I think it means the same thing. But yeah, we'll, we'll gather some of those, gather some garnets. I know that those now have a use. With the uh, Midas magic, actually. But yeah, let's just gather all this stuff that we can. Um, for one, because I like alchemy. But also, because I know that at some point, I'm going to do that quest where I give uh, the one chick in Riften all the ingredients. And it's always nice to have like a little surplus ready for her. That way I have to do less gathering later on. Speaking of which, let's look at our ingredients. Because I know that I need um, like 20 death bells and like 20 nightshades and then something else. So yeah, we've still got a ways to go. Which is why I collect so much of this stuff all the time. Yeah, these jungles are a great place to get the death bell. And then I think Solitude is probably one of the better places to get the Nightshade or something like that. Graves. Pretty sure Graves are where you want to get Nightshade at. And of course Swamp Fungal Pod can only be found in this area as far as I know because it's a swampy thing. Yeah. Um, I was thinking about downloading uh, like an epic mod. It's uh, called Moon Path to Elsewhere. Why are you so injured, buddy? Huh. That's not really fair to just let him suffer, I guess. Oh, item has insufficient charge. Oh, there's some scaled armor. It's interesting. Maybe I dropped that there. I don't know. It's dumb. We should probably charge this weapon so that, that doesn't happen again. Wow, a petty soul gem refills the whole thing. That's sweet. Let's do this. Do this. Yes. Let's pull the bow back out. Creeping through the jungle. Nah, it's not a jungle. Still, here's some nightshade. That's good. So I'm pretty sure nightshade's a really hard one to get. Death bell's not so bad. Yeah, we're going to creep along here. What shouts do we have? We have unrelenting force in the world. <laughs> That's it. Those are the only shouts that we have. Wow. We are a sad, sad, pathetic little dragonborn. Ugh, man. Well, whatevers. Uh, eventually, I plan on getting the um, dragonborn DLC. And then I'll probably get the Dawn Guard DLC too, even though I don't really like it as much. I just like the added skill trees in it for the uh, werewolf and vampire. Now, as far as I know, there should be a necromancer lady around here somewhere. I don't think I've already killed her because I haven't found this place yet. Let's climb up on this hill, get a vantage of the area. Huh. Wonder where she's at. She's just like standing there behind me. Boom! With a fireball. <laughs> That'd be funny. Okay. I'm not seeing her. Maybe she's inside of the, uh, what did you get? 
That's a possibility, I guess. I mean, I am pretty sneaky, so she might not be able to hear me just yet. No? Huh. Whatever. Here's a dead guy. Hi, dead guy. Into Ustengrav. Yeah. So did I tell you guys I want to learn some foreign languages? Yeah, I think I'm going to start with Italian because it'll be relatively easy to learn since uh, English is in the same language branch as that. And then I'm probably going to go with uh, my ancestral language so I'll learn Finnish. Um, yeah, I am of Scandinavian descent, if anyone cared. Uh, that's what Finnish is, we're Scandies. Yeah. I think the only word of Finnish I know right now is hey. And that's that's hello. Basically, uh, here in the US, we stole it. <laughs> and we say hey for hello, even though that's technically uh, Finnish for hello. Kind of funny, but hey. See? Hey. Wow. It happens a lot. The U.S. has stolen a lot of words. I think there's like upwards of 600 words <clears throat> that you know uh, that are just German if you know a lot of English. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. My throat is just like bleh on me right now. <clears throat> That's what happens when you talk all day, I guess. And don't drink water. Yeah. <laughs> Pro tip, if you're going to be a YouTuber, drink water while you're commentating. It helps. It helps a lot. Mm. Here, just one second. I'm going to drink some coffee. Mm, yeah, nummy coffee. Actually, the coffee is probably why my voice is all messed up. Because that's pretty much all I've drinking all day. Because I'm a scrub lord like that. Ooh, cemented to the table on the Adam's apple. Uh, 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 uh. All right. <laughs> okay. I'll take that. Take your chest. Petty soul gem. Oh, bound sword. Might as well. Um, I hate fleeing targets, so I'm probably not going to use that. Ah, uh, that's stupid. Gold. Huh. Amethyst gold. Pickaxe. Hmm. Okay. So then let's keep going through here. I think just down here is where something fun is happening. If I remember right. Yeah. Yeah, this is hilarious. So basically, um, the Draugr have waken up. And they're having a war with the uh, Conjurers. And so they'll like fight each other and reduce the number of enemies that you have. It's it's pretty funny. However, the drugger always win. So it makes sense to try and take them out first. Okay, and because I am Sneaky Lord McSneakerson, what's my name? I don't even know. I think my name is Turiosaurus. Yeah, pretty sure I named, named myself Turiosaurus. Oh, confound it. Action shot. Trying to get me killed. No soul gem large enough, huh? That sucks.
Ooh, he was downed. Didn't even realize that. Boom, baby! Get some. Now that was sweet. No one even try and deny that. Sneaky around the corner. Shazam! Stab him in the face with an axe. That was great. Oh, I do love this game. I really do. Oh my. Two potions of health? Don't mind if I do. Yeah. Alright. A restless Draugr. Some gold. I like gold. I thought about getting a mod called Septum Smithing, but I felt like it was a bit cheap. Basically, I could just, like, transmute gold, make gold bars, and make, like, 100 septums or 500 septums or whatever off the gold bars, and have infinite money. Okay, so this is where I'm going to exit from. I don't care to search all those urns. I know they have stuff in them, but pfft, it's not worth it. Okay. Anything special back here? There's health potion. like that. What about on this side? Canis root. I'll take that. Why not? Alright, I think that's it. Then there's these things. I never really understood these things. I think at one time they held soul gems that had traps in them. But now they don't anymore because the soul gems got corrupted or something. I don't know. But you see, they're, they're kind of cool. Or at least cool looking. There's a little peak hole right there. Nothing here. Some dead skeleton. Wow! That was a friction buildup. I just soccer kicked that thing into tomorrow. My goodness. Coin purse. It's down here. Anything good? There is a door. Hmm. It's a secret chain. And some gold. Pretty sure I just accidentally took like a battle axe or something. Yeah, right there. Drop that. Keep on moving. Our frames are holding pretty solid even though we have this quote unquote high texture or high detail texture. I don't know, I guess we'll see. Alright. I just about guarantee you this room is trapped. Not even about to search this chest without looking around for a thing. Firestorm. Oh, I do like that. Nothing? Huh. Okay. Interesting. Huh. I would have thought that that would have trapped me in there or, like, tried to stab me or something. I guess not. Whatever. It's hard to say, man. Hard to say. Close that back up. Um, how do I get out of here? Got to go up here. There we go. Let's go this way. There's probably an additional secret back there. And that's why it was so weird. Now that I think about it, it seems like one of those things where, like, maybe if I close the handle... Then, you know, it would have, like, opened up a secret passageway that can only be opened when it's already closed. I think you guys understand what I'm trying to say there. But yeah, that seems like something that could be... No soul gems. Dang. It's alright. 
I'm going to get a lot of enchanting levels once we're all said and done with this. Which will be good. It'll be good. Good, you know, good, you know, good, good. Ah, <sighs> skirmisher, potion, ruined book, searching the chest. Cool. Potions. How do we quick save? Is it F5 for quick save? Yeah, there we go. I'm going to try and start doing that more. That way, if I start to die, then at least I'm not like restarting everything. Let's take this gigantic coin purse. Gosh, I am just like crushing skeleton bones right now. Let's take some more coffee. That's right. Nom noms. This is a really pretty dungeon. They spent a lot of time making this. Guarantee it. A lot of time. Alright, let's come down here. Pretty sure there's a skeleton of patrols up here doing there. And then... Yeah. One there. Hmm, there's a shield. Just standard run of the mill iron shield. Hmm. Can I get back up there now? Yes, I can. Through the power of glitch jumping. Okay. I was pretty sure that there's two of them up here. Wow. No soul gem large enough. That really sucks. <laughs> Alright. These things are usually so that you can, like, sneak an arrow through them. Kaplame someone right there. Did I level up? I think I might have. I'm gonna save it, though. Go down here, I guess. I'm not even sure if I need to go this way. Like, I know there's a way that I can kind of, like, glitch up and, uh... Just bypass this whole thing. But I don't know. I don't feel like I should maybe do, like, all the glitches that I can. Because, you know, then... It wouldn't take as long, and we're not going to get as many skills. And the whole point of this is to progress, but not to be like, Oh, we beat the game already because we're so good. Who? Yeah. Hello, dead dragger. Oh, dang. What's up, bud? <laughs> he did. Take some cheese wheels, some sliced goat cheese, sliced Adar cheese, Adar cheese whale, some lavender, I guess. I don't know. I don't want grilled leeks. Don't think I've ever actually had a leek. Hmm. I wonder what leeks are like. They look good. I'd give them that. They look decent. Just don't think I've ever had one. Hmm. I suppose that's interesting. At least to me. It's probably not actually interesting. <laughs> get some bone meal and some gold. Well, I cannot figure out how to get down there properly. So I guess I'll just get down there the way that I usually get down there. Which is through cheating. Is it here that I do it? I can't remember. 
I think it's here. Yeah, there it is. It hurts, but I just bypassed all that. If I missed anything that's super important back there, you guys can tell me and I'll, I'll figure it out. Okay. Let's get the whirlwind sprint out. There we go. Boom, baby. Get some. Got a quick save again right here. I don't think there's any big enemies in here. Oh, wait, there's the spiders. Yeah. I think you're technically supposed to use the sprint to get through here. I always just do this. Because I want to sneak around so that I can get a sneak attack on Big Mama. I think there's a big one in here. Like, I know there is, I just can't remember where she pops out from. fire isn't going to help this. Let's go ahead and level up just to be safe. Hit our 250 health point. Hear that nice glitch we got going with the uh, sound of the darn whatcha jig it? That's great, isn't it? We do harder to detect while sneaked. Won't trigger pressure plates is nice. I think I'll grab that. I never use silent roll. I like that. And then of course Shadow Warrior. That's a fantastic one. Alright, let's do... Yeah, I, I guess that's good. Good night. Okay, so now Big Mama is dead. That's good. Didn't get any arrows back out of her. Stupid. There we go. Frost fighter. I'm not trying to do the frost fighter. Oh my gosh, really? Just move. I love how it thinks that I'm trying to do the frost spider. There. <laughs> Whoops, ha, <laughs> accidentally stopped recording right there. Meant to press F5. Here we go. I'm trying to think. I don't think that there's an enemy in here, is there? No, because that one chick already came through and set them all off. Oh, how dare you, Delphine. Defile Jürgen's tomb. Here we go. Septums. Look at that shiny piece of gold that's melted. Ooh, yeah. Mmm, spicy. Two thirty, pretty good. Pretty good. Not so good. Not so good. 
Not so good. All right. Barry learn, Barry learns. Cool. I think it's about time that we pick up a follower. So while we're inside of uh, Riverwood, I think we're going to go talk to Feindal. Oh, wait, didn't we kill Feindal? I don't remember. I'll find some sort of follower for us. It's fine. As long as they're not heavy armor, we'll be good. Okay. Let's get out of here. See? We come out right here. Don't need to bother with that chest because I've already looted it. And I know that I have. Should only be dead people here because I've already been through here. Which means that I can just run right out. Alright. Let's get out of here. Back to Skyrim. And we've probably been recording for a while now. So I think we'll fast travel to Riverwood. If we can. Yes, we can. Alright, let's fast travel to Riverwood. And then I think we're going to call it an episode. So I think, I think, yeah, that's what I think. Alright, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I know I've certainly enjoyed playing the game. I always love recording Skyrim. It is a fantastic game. Well, let's see what this guy wants first. Sup, Courier? Got something I'm supposed to deliver. My hands only, hands right? Only. Let's see here. It's from Folk, Folk Firebeard. Palace. Oh, you've got huh. friends in high places. Looks like that's it. Got to go. All right, we'll read this and then we'll call it a day. How about that? Letter from Falk Fireman. Come to light. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Okay. So that'll be pretty interesting. I think we'll do that for next episode. But, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I certainly have. If you did, please leave a like down below. And uh, preferably comments as well because comments help me out. Um, any recommended mods would be fantastic. And then uh, I guess we'll see you guys next time.